Every day in Ireland, an average of 273 people are diagnosed with cardiovascular disease. But as a sudden heart attack is often the first warning sign, for many people, this diagnosis comes far too late. Professor Dermot Kenny is Director of the Clinical Research Centre in Beaumont Hospital and is an expert in cardiovascular disease. To understand cardiovascular disease, you need to understand a little bit of anatomy and physiology. The heart is supplied by its own blood vessels, and those blood vessels we know over time can become damaged because of classic risk factors, for example, smoking. What actually happens in a heart attack is little particles in the blood called platelets flowing along. They see this damage and they cause a clot. That's when you get a heart attack. What we're looking at, in the simplest way to put it to you, is what I would call platelet stickiness. If you have platelets that are far more sticky, they're liable to clot off one of your arteries. Can we measure that? Professor Kenny works closely with researchers at the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute in Dublin City University. Together, they're developing quicker, more patient-friendly ways to detect and measure the presence of disease. We're seeking to improve people's health and the efficiency of healthcare systems by developing point-of-care diagnostic platforms. It requires us to bring together a, a large team of physicists, chemists, biologists and engineers and we work hand-in-hand -hand with clinical scientists and research nurses to develop diagnostic platforms that have real patient impact. So chips like these are essentially the focus of the diagnostic devices that we develop. Um, the area is often referred to as lab on a chip development and really what we're talking about here are different microfluidic systems that carry out very, very complex experiments automatically, allowing you to measure what's there in the blood. So there's an entire clinical lab on a chip like this? Exactly right, yes, the entire process is there. And what diseases are you looking at then? Well, we work across a number of different chronic illnesses. We have specific projects in breast cancer diagnostics, meningitis diagnostics, and we have a team working on cardiovascular disease diagnostics. We have developed this chip that can test people's susceptibility to cardiovascular disease. And it's uh, one of the first incidences of this test in the world. Can you show me how it works? Yes, certainly. So what we do is we put a small amount of blood into the chip. And as you can see, the blood starts to flow across the surface and it flows across the, the biomarkers and therefore we can detect if the person is susceptible to cardiovascular disease. So the biomarkers are measuring different things in the blood that I could have if I had the disease? Yes, because we, we can pattern five different biomarkers along the surface, then you can do five different tests along, along the surface with one blood sample and one chip. This technology could indicate the presence of disease in a patient almost instantly. In the case of heart disease, it would be consistency or stickiness of the platelets. And instead of sending the samples away and waiting for weeks for results to come back from clinical labs, doctors could see the results in their surgery in a matter of minutes. And is it being used on patients yet? Yes, we were very lucky that we have a collaboration with the Bowman Hospital and the Clinical Research Centre there. So this technology actually has made it to the clinic, which is something that, that we don't often get the opportunity to do. At the moment where we are is we're in an experimental setup. You, you've seen the systems, they're designed, they're in the laboratory, they're now in the clinical research centres, we're testing them. The idea is to get them into a point of care system where you can get them very into the hospital or into a GP's office. What our research is aimed at understanding is why some people have greater risk for heart attacks in the absence of classic risk factors. For example, you all know the story of the healthy young 35-year-old man who's got no family history of heart disease, is a non-smoker, doesn't have diabetes, has a good diet and suddenly has a heart attack. This comes out of the blue. Why is that? As well as diagnosing people who may have a problem in the future, you're also helping those who are under treatment at the moment. Yes, the drugs we have to treat or to thin the blood or to reduce platelet stickiness are very effective. Aspirin is the classic drug that has been in use for a long, long time. What we have the ability to do now is to monitor the response to that drug. In addition, there are other antiplatelet agents that are being used now. And what combination is ide ideal for a specific person, we will be able to do that with this test. Bertie Andrews is a patient taking part in Professor Kenny's trial. The heart attack is like suddenly getting a knuckle onto the centre of your heart. That's the way it felt like 
somebody putting a knuckle right in the centre of your chest. There was no history whatsoever in, in the family up until then. And this started with me. And how did you have to change your life after that? He said you'd have to give up the cigarettes and you'd have to be thinking more health-wise, mm -hmm. uh, foods you eat and everything like that thereafter. So that all went in, thank God. And I, I changed then completely after that. And then you decided to participate in the research that's happening here yeah. for cardiovascular disease. Well, it put myself forward because um, they're constantly examining you. They're constantly doing tests on you. So if anything does go wrong, you know, you have that reassurance that they, they'll find out first. Mm -hmm. It won't be six months down the road. It won't be a year. Probably too late then, like, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm more than happy to put myself forward for trials or anything like that. Right, guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a good guinea pig. <laughs> good guinea pig. It's very important to me to know that my medication is now... It's, it's working for me, do you know what I mean? So um, I can get on now with my life. I don't have to worry about having a heart attack tomorrow, say. I've got the feedback off the hospital and the doctors, and they've said everything is fine there. If I had it been back then, uh, available to me then in 1999, mm. I wouldn't have known anything about heart trouble then, you know? I could have done something about it then. And you've managed to completely change your lifestyle now mm. because you're running marathons. I did, indeed. Yeah, 2008, decided then uh, I'd love to do a marathon, I'd try one. So signed up with the brother-in-law, we went over to Amsterdam and we done that one first and then we came back a week later and we had done the Dublin one in the same week. I think the future lies in what we can call personalised medicine. I think we will be able to identify specific people whose platelets, as I've said, are very sticky. We will be able to treat them appropriately using the medications that we have currently available and using the medications that are coming on board in the future. And this research is Irish intellectual property. This is the fantastic thing, is if you look over the last several years, we have a range of tremendously well-educated physicians, scientists and patients who understand the benefit of this. So to see Irish intellectual property translate into effective care for Irish patients at the cutting edge globally is very exciting. <laughs>